Hello? Uh, yes, I'm trying to reach a brother Keith Wilson, please. Yeah, this is Keith. Uh, Keith, how you doing? This is Lawrence Burns over at Ice Hill Funeral Home. Okay. We are the ones that have the, uh, uh doing the funeral for Sister Dolores Wilson. That is, uh, your yeah. aunt. Am I, am I understanding right? Yeah, that's my auntie. Okay, and as you know, the funeral is, uh, this coming Thursday. Yes, I'll be there Thursday. Uh, I'm giving you a call uh, because uh, it's been brought to my attention uh, that you were going to be giving remarks for the funeral. Is that correct? Yes, absolutely. Okay, I wanted to call you because we're getting ready to print the programs for the funeral and let okay. you know that they have taken you off for the remarks uh, because they say that you're not going to be... Oh, oh, oh hold on, hold on, hold on. You mean, what do you mean taking me off? Well, what I'm saying is they say that you're, they, you're not going to abide by the two, three-minute rule that they have for remarks, and they wanted, they, they've taken you off. And uh, uh, who, who, who is they? Who, who, hold on, come out, come out. Who, 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 what's the name again? Uh, Lawrence. I'm Lawrence Burns. I'm the actual funeral director. Lawrence. And who who told you to take me off? Uh, gave, one of the gave, one of the family members. I'm assuming is who who uh, made the adjustment. And that, an adjustment. That ain't no adjustment. That's that's changing the whole program. Who else is on the list? Uh, I mean, there's quite a few family members doing different things uh, uh, throughout the funeral. Okay. Uh, so how did you get to my name is what I'm trying to figure out. That they said I, that you, I, I, well, I, I, listen I, to I, me, listen, listen I, to I, me, I, listen I, to me, brother Keith, listen to me. What they said is that you weren't going to abide by the time. You weren't going to do your remarks in three minutes or less. Listen, now, listen, listen, listen. My auntie raised me. She put me through college. And you think I'm going to, I'm going to go up there in her funeral and, be under two minutes? Well, listen, listen, brother this? Keith. Brother Keith, listen to me. Normally, when we have these funerals, uh, people who give remarks, we have them three minutes or less. Okay. Okay. So I, I tell you, I tell you what, Mister Lawrence, who else on the list? Is Sheila on the list? Uh, Is Sheila on the list? We have a Sheila. Yes, there's a Sheila that's singing. Take uh, her damn name off the list. Take her off the list and put me where she's supposed to be with my turn and her time. Is is, is Bobby Jr. on there too? I, uh, I better not be on there. Bobby, now yes, Bobby Jr. is giving remarks. Hell, that's a, what? That's that's Dolores. Oh. That's Miss Dolores' son, right? Yes, her son, the one that been locked up. He just got out of jail. Truth be told, he's the one down there put her in the coffin. You need to take him off the list too. Give me all that time because I'll be down. If, if but, I ain't going to say nothing, I'm all Brother gonna... Keith, let me, let, me, let me just say this to you. I cannot take Sheila or Bobby Jr. off. I can't make any alterations to this program unless they say that what I you can. That, sir, what you mean? Can... You already, you already taking you take people's name off. You're taking my name off. Wait, but the, but they, they, they orchestrated who, this, though. Who the, who the fuck is they? Who is they? They been have a motherfucking problem. They try to take me off my goddamn auntie program. Who was they? Sir, I, I'm not going to get into a family matter, but until they say that you, you can be on. You're not in a family matter. Sir, I'm not going to, I don't want to, I don't want to have the, the, this, this turn out to be bad. And we want to have a great home going for Sister Dolores. Okay. You're damn right. And, and if I don't get to say nothing, I guarantee you, I guarantee you it's going to be a two for one in there. Somebody else going to get their ass in the coffin, too. I guarantee you that. If I don't get to say nothing at my auntie's funeral, my auntie didn't pay for my damn college. I didn't put $6,000 in, in the funeral. I bet you, I'll tell you this. I'll tell you this, Mr. Lawrence. I bet you whether I'm on the program or not, I bet you I say what the f I want to. I bet you that much. You tell they that. I didn't, my auntie didn't put me through college. I didn't put money on the funeral. I call around to see who ain't putting no money on the funeral. Tell them they can't be on the program. Man. Uh, uh, Keith, they, they, when they decide 
who who who's on it. If they changed the the format, then I will call you back. Who who the f is they? That's what I'm trying to get get you to understand. Who is they? Can I can I tell you something? And and I don't want you to get too irate. Okay. okay? Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead, man. Go ahead. I, I just want to say this. Keep with. This is nephew Tommy from the Steve Harvey Morning Show. You just got pranked. You just got pranked by your cousin Bobby Junior. You bull. <laughs> I'm kicking Bobby Junior up. I that. I'm kicking Bobby ass. I know that. that, that I mean, my blood pressure is all up. I ain't got time to be playing, man. Taking me off the damn program. <laughs> Bobby Ann, I know that. Oh, you Bobby man, Bobby, <laughs> Bobby said y'all grew up like brothers, man, and, and you was that, you was basically another son of Mister Lord. That's right. Yes, yes, I was, man. Oh my goodness. <laughs> hey, let me ask you this, man. What is the baddest, and I mean the baddest, radio show in the land? The Steve Harvey Morning Show. <laughs> ah.